Look at those cheese balls. That's a lot of freaking cheese balls. Oh my god! It's a new video! Okay, hello everybody. Yes, this is Bina4657. And the first video I have posted up in... Well, actually, the next Let's Play video is probably going to go up before this one does. But anyway, I, it is now August 2nd, 2011, and I'm going to go pay my rent today. Oh, Jesus. Sure is bright out here. Hold on a second. I need to adjust my grip on the camera so I don't drop it on the way there. So, yeah. It's been a while since I recorded a vlog. And I believe that the last time you saw me recording a vlog was, like, sometime in, I don't know, February, I think. Oh, man. It's been months. But, yeah. I didn't upload anything all last week because I was actually going to it just wasn't a very good week for me. So I decided that last weekend, um, someday, um, it was actually on Saturday afternoon, I went back to my parents' house just to hang out with the family, see how everyone's doing, and that actually kind of brought up my mood. So I'm back here, feeling a little bit more refreshed. I believe the time right now is around 11.50 a.m. It's almost noon now. Actually, I think it is noon right now. Wow. so bright out here. Well, I'm not really taking this walk for exercise purposes. And like I said before, I don't really like going out in the daytime. And that is very strange. Coming up on a lawnmower, I don't know if you can hear from here. Actually, you probably can because I can hear it. But, um... Basically, the, this lawnmower is designed in such a way that you don't actually have to push it. You kind of like ride on the back of it, but it's not like one of those John Deere tractor ones. More looks like you're riding a go-kart or a Segway. Okay, um, anyway. Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna have to edit that out because the lawnmower got really close, so it got extremely loud. So, it has actually been really, really hot, which is probably a really bad day for me to wear black. But it actually got in the triple digits. Uh, I think it got around 102 degrees around here just yesterday. And it feels just as hot today, which is why I kind of feel like I didn't want to go outside, but I have to go pay my rent. So, by the way, this is the tree I've been talking about. Um, this is the tree that blooms in the spring. Apparently we already missed it, so I'm sorry about that. We're gonna have to wait until next year. If I'm even still in this town next year, I don't know where I'm gonna go, end up. I've just come across a family now. The pool's completely empty. Well, I'm not surprised. The sun's really strong today. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of families around here. It's not really too bad, but I actually kind of want to get back to my apartment so I can cool down in the air conditioning and then record more Tales of Vesperia, so. Although I don't really know why I'm showing you this. You don't really have that much of a selection of drinks here. You just got water, A&W. For some reason they got A&W in a Dr. Pepper machine. Never really understood that. I actually kind of want to go back in there because there's air conditioning. I just got to make it back to my apartment and then just relax in the cool breeze of AC. Here we go in the sun again. Oh my god. As you, okay, the reason why I don't really like going out in the sun too much, as you can probably tell, I'm wider than vanilla ice. So, I burn easily and I never tan. I never really understood why I don't tan, I just don't. And a lot of people like to make fun of me and say like things like, oh, you're as white as a ghost, or like, if you're in the dark, you'll still reflect light. <laughs> now, I'm not that white. I'm, not, I'm obviously not like pale white, like a ghost or anything. I'm not like see-through or anything, but I'm still like whiter than the average American. 
I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm wider than the average American, but I guess I probably could go that way, but I don't really feel like it. I have to cross paths with the lawnmower again. So if you just see it randomly cut out, then that means we just passed by and it got too loud. Because when I'm close to a lawnmower, I can't even hear myself think. I hate mowing the lawn so much. It's loud, it's obnoxious, and it's really hot, and the grass bothers my allergies. Yeah, I'm allergic to grass, so. I'm actually very allergic to pretty much everything green in the outdoors. I know, it sucks. It makes it seem like God made me to be an, an indoor person. It's like, hey, you wanna be an indoor person? You're like, eh, it's not bad. Well, well, you're not gonna have a choice anyway, because if you go outside, then you're gonna swell up like a pretty, you're gonna swell up like some sort of freaking uh, water balloon or something, I don't know. I've never actually swelled up from allergies before, though I have broken out in hives. I remember this one day where the first time I broke out in hives, I thought I had the chicken pox, because back then I was only like, I think I was like maybe 12 years old. So I was sitting there, and I was breaking out in hives, and I just thought I had the chicken pox, and I'm like, Mom, what the hell's wrong with me? Well, I didn't actually say that because I was 12, but... So, we just went to the doctor and had myself tested, and I basically got it like a... So, so when we got to the doctors and got myself tested, I, I got injected with a series of needles that had different um, allergies in them. And I found out that I'm allergic to cats, dogs, everything green outside, and certain kinds of mold and dust mites. So, after we found out that, in order to keep my allergies under, uh, in check, uh, my mom actually got me a special pillow that sort of repels and kills dust mites, sort of. I don't know how it works, but it just did. But that actually did help my allergies a lot. And for the next, from the time when I was like 12 to 16, I think, I had to get shots in my arms to make me immune to my allergies which really helped but it was painful as hell but I got used to it as the years went on oh my god sorry my body's starting to overheat and it's starting to get pretty painful oh my god just gotta get the key which is in my left pocket but my left, my, my left hand is holding my camera so I got to wait a second Okay, I'm back. Okay, sorry about all that. Um, I just went and got in the shower. Anyway, um, what else do I need to talk about? Oh yeah, well as it turns out, um, when I was fiddling around with the camera earlier, I kind of dropped my keys behind me. So I just stopped the camera there. So I don't really know if there's anything else to say. Um, it is now, what time is it? Um, it is now almost 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. So I think I got, um, I got something to do and then I was thinking about going out to lunch. I think I might go to that Chinese place. The Chinese place is good fried rice, I'll tell you that. And it's only for like six bucks or something. So then I need to go shopping later. And But uh, I'll, I'll probably actually go shopping tomorrow. And so um, after I'm done with my business here, I'll probably record some more Tales of Vesperia. So you guys can expect some more videos of that soon. So I'm sorry I took the last week off. So there really wasn't much I can do. So, But just to let you know, I'm back. Everything's back to normal. So hopefully I can get back to uh, what I was doing, and, and um, you can expect a new Let's Play coming soon. I don't know when I'll get back to Harvest Moon, to be honest, I just haven't really been in much mood to play that game right now. Uh, I mean, like, if, you, if you're not in the mood to record something, I mean, you're not in the mood to record something. I mean, that's one of the downfalls of being a Let's Player, that if you just drop the ball on a game, then there isn't really much you can do about it, except just kind of like force yourself to get back to it, but then your commentary usually sucks. There, there's a let's play tip for you guys, so I better end this video before it gets too long, so I'll see you all later. Bye! Out of my stomach.